Hi, my name is Ajay Nair. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Horticulture at Iowa State University. And today uh, I'm just going to give you a quick snapshot uh, of a project we are uh, conducting at the Muscatine Island Research Station. Uh, you all might have heard about biochar. There is a lot going uh, about it. A lot of people are getting into it. Uh, so uh, we here are conducting an experiment in which we are trying to uh, study uh, how biochar incorporation works for commercial uh, potato and sweet corn production and you could see around me this is the plot here uh, today is uh, uh, June uh, 27th 26 I'm sorry and you can see how the sweet corn looks like uh, uh, and the potato as well we seeded the crop uh, in uh, uh, mid-April to late April and the crops have been doing pretty good this year especially in Iowa in 2013 it had been a very wet spring uh, but we just <clears throat> dug a potato two out of the experiment. Uh, the treatments which we are uh, testing here are different rates of biochar. So we have a control plot, no biochar at all. We have a 5 ton per acre treatment, uh, sorry, 2.5 ton, 5 ton, and then a 10 ton per acre treatment, which is at the higher end. Soils here in Muscatine are sandy, less organic matter. So we want to study how biochar affects uh, nutrient cycling. Uh, in the soil how does it affect the crop growth and the quality as well oh, one additional thing which we are studying here or investigating here are looking at how the nitrates and the nitrogen leach in these soils and as you know sandy soils leach a lot of uh, nitrogen uh, so adding biochar does that help to conserve that nitrogen and not leach down so we are doing some lysimeter analysis where we have installed lysimeters and we are collecting a uh, water uh, leachate and I would show you where the uh, lysimeter is uh, we have installed the lysimeter in the uh, sweet corn uh, plot and again uh, uh, we are feeling pretty good about the crop it's looking great and uh, if you join me here inside the uh, sweet corn plot and uh, you could see that uh, these are the lysimeters up there they're just like tubes which are two feet deep and we regularly collect water which leaches down uh, weekly on a weekly basis every week and then we send that uh, leachate for analysis for especially nitrates so uh, another interesting data we are collecting since not much work has been done in biochar for commercial vegetable production in Iowa. So we are excited that uh, we'll see some uh, cool results uh, from this study. Again, thank you for joining me. I'm Ajay Nair again from the uh, Department of Horticulture at Iowa State University.